A little history. Uh, Huntington, West Virginia is my hometown. I'm eighth generation West Virginian. Uh, a lot of people don't know the geography well, but it's a little hard to see West Virginia on the Google map. But you can kind of see it. You see New York up in the corner in Philadelphia. And if, if you come on west, especially from Washington, D.C., uh, you start to get into West Virginia. Huntington is at the extreme western end on the Ohio River, my symbolic river. Um, and growing up in uh, Huntington, this is Candom Park, which is kind of a 1930s style amusement park. And I was thinking even that term amusements is kind of an old you know, 19th century kind of term, right? That you go for amusements. So it wasn't what you, uh, the theme parks like they have today. I mean, it was. It had a Ferris wheel and a roller coaster and some rides and games that you would play and things like that. And uh, uh, that's Cannon Park, right in Huntington. And uh, so the whole time I was growing up, uh, this was there in Cannon Park uh, with all of the uh, roller coasters and tilt-a-whirls and everything around it. What do you think this is? A picture of Very mm -hmm. okay. Very much. You're all too smart. <laughs> it's, there's a, yes, that, that one's buried in Camden Park with all the stuff around it. You can't really see it. This is in Charleston, which is a little, little uh, about 40 miles from, from Huntington. See it a little clearer. This is from Moundsville, West Virginia, uh, appropriately named Moundsville, West Virginia. And uh, just historically, as it turns out, um, this mound in Huntington comes now, we know, from the Adena culture, which was uh, the west, the eastern edge of it was in the Ohio Valley, in Portsmouth, Ohio. It went back up the Scioto River towards Columbus. And uh, Adena culture was from 1000 BC up to about uh, 200 or 300. Uh, Charleston and Moundsville come from a later culture that we call the Hopewell culture. And then this is Priest Mound in Illinois, which is a part of a complex of mounds that is the largest agriculture, the, the largest um, architectural complex in the United States. Goyka was home to 20,000 people. And there you see the rendition of Priest's Mound on the right there. There was a very tall wooden structure they know on the top of it. So the Priest's Mound built by, this is the Mississippian culture, and Goyka was the capital city. It's across the river from what we call St. Louis now. It was a cap capital city. Priest Mound is larger than the Giza Pyramid. And with the superstructure on the top, is larger than Notre Dame. And in the year 1200, Goyka had a far larger population than London or Paris. Um, but as we know, they were all primitive savages. <laughs> This is another kind of mound on the Euphrates. Um, and back from my earlier uh, biblical studies in grad school, you know there aren't really hills and mountains on the plains of the Euphrates. It's flat. There are no hills. So this isn't really a hill, is it? It's called a tell, T-E-L. And when you look at it from the air, that's what it looks like. It is the ruin of an ancient city. What do all these have in common? The Adena culture, the Hopewell culture, the Mississippian culture, ancient Babylon, ancient Sumer. Uh, these are all civilizations that collapsed. Uh, we don't know why. We don't know what happened to the people of the Adena culture or the Hopewell culture or the Mississippian culture, or why they collapsed. Why a population that was larger than London and Paris uh, would suddenly, and it was apparently dramatic that um, 
And within a hundred years, uh, everyone had left. No one, no one lived in Quebec anymore. That's not what they called it. By the way. We don't know what they called it. Uh, we don't know the language. The reason I bring this up is that actually collapses all around us. We just don't realize it. I, mean, I grew up with it in my hometown. Uh, when I was uh, seven years old, we moved to New Mexico, which was one of the highlights of my life. I love New Mexico. Uh, many of you have probably seen this. Where is this photo from? Mesa Verde. It's from Mesa Verde. Um, and this one was a little harder. Mesa Verde is in Colorado. Mesa Verde is in Colorado. That's why I didn't match it. I know. I know. I cheated. <laughs> It's just across the border in the Four Corners area, which is one of the great places to go. This is in New Mexico, and it's not Chaco Canyon. This is uh, Bandelier, which is, again, um, uh, it's the same Anastasia culture. And um, we also know that Anastasia culture collapsed. Uh, the cities were abandoned. Uh, we know a little bit about why now, right? Because there was a bit of an ecological disaster. Um, a dry spell in the environmental cycle that uh, what little rain there was uh, didn't come and they left. I got married in 1976 in Detroit. Uh, that's where my wife is from. She's from Detroit. You ever been to Detroit? Mm -hmm. So that's Detroit in 1976. This is Detroit now. That's the former Chrysler headquarters from about the 1930s. Uh, I don't remember the name of that street. And this building, you know, this isn't the thing that just happened. It's been there, and it will be there for years. And this is looking at the Rensen. Uh, it's kind of shadows. What? Yeah. It's from the west looking east. And if you'll notice, you see the fire hydrant? Uh, this is a very common feature of, of Detroit nowadays. Uh, the streets are still there, but all the buildings are gone. Uh, because they're tearing down you know, block after block after block after block of, of Detroit. Um, when Heather lived there, you know, Detroit was a city of 7 million people. And uh, now Detroit is a city of 700,000 people. And uh, Detroit has collapsed, in other words. Again, collapses all around us, we just don't think about it or realize it. Mm -hmm. 